Thank you for plugging into this Family Life News podcast, streaming issues-driven, family-focused news. And welcome back to another edition of Issues in Education. Mondays during the Noon Report, we spotlight the issues that matter most to our public schooling families with Dr. Ralph Kerr at the Teaching and Learning Institute. Ralph, great to have you back on the program, sir. Spring, just a couple weeks away now. Can't wait. There you go. I love your optimism. Hey, it's all I got anymore. So let's uh, (laughs) jump right in. A big announcement last week from the U.S. Education Department. It said that states can delay, but they cannot cancel those standardized tests. And in the pandemic era, uh, teachers unions, none too happy about about that. They are blasting the decision. What are your thoughts on the matter, sir? Well, let me take you back a little bit and remember that the Biden administration first said schools need to open. Then they said schools need to open within the first hundred days. Then they said some schools need to open. So now when we go to test, originally it was national tests need to be administered. And now it is national tests need to be administered, but you decide when you're going to give them. And I don't blame the teachers union for being really upset about this. I mean, there have been so much uneven access to the possibility of learning and so much uneven learning. I don't see how any state can fairly uh, administer those tests. If they are administered, then there needs to be a huge asterisk besides the results, that's yeah. for sure. Stop the presses. Uh, Ralph Kerr and Nyset actually agree on something. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and again, the the, uh, the education department said that this is not these test results are not going to count against the teachers, but they still go on the students' record, and a lot of Absolutely. folks are saying that's not fair. Uh, Absolutely. So, so let's talk about the possibility of summer school. A number of districts are flirting with that idea as an alternative to make up for lost time um, with with all this online learning that's going on. What are your thoughts on that, Ralph? <laughs> well, I'm chuckling because I have never been a supporter of summer school. In fact, when I was working as a superintendent in some districts, we didn't offer summer school. I never could figure out how if you give students 180 days to learn the material and they don't do it, then you turn around and give them 30 days to uh, learn the material and think they're going they're going to do it. This year is totally different than that, of course. But again, teachers. Uh, part of the reason why some teachers teach is because they get the summer off. Yeah. And this year, in particular, they those that have been working hard to deliver distance learning, they need the summer off. So th- there's not a teachers union I don't believe in the country that's going to agree to uh, offer summer school this year on a mandatory basis. And furthermore, uh, as far as I know, in New York and Pennsylvania, there's no mechanism for schools to actually mandate that students attend summer school. That would take a legislative change, and that's just not going to happen. Yeah, and I remember you telling me years ago, Ralph, the top two reasons you got into teaching was July and August. (laughs) 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 And then finally, uh, the big question, look into that uh, silver ball or whatever color it is, uh, and uh, give us your answer to the question, do you think that schools will be fully operational K through 12, five days a week by next fall. Are you ready for this? With bated breath. All right. I'm going to say a resounding yes. Parents have the right to expect and plan for schools to be open in the fall. And I think there would be such a backlash if that doesn't happen. I think people have had enough of partial school and we need to be planning now that schools are going to be fully open K through 12 come September 1st. And to that I say a big amen. (laughs) Dr. Ralph Kerr at the Teaching and Learning Institute. If folks have questions about their local school, you have a wonderful website where they can go. What is that, sir? Thank you, Bob. That's simply whyrun.org. Whyrun.org. 